okay, I think I've found one of the most fascinating solar power stations I've seen today, and I've seen dozens and dozens. This is the E-Taker M2000, and it, I didn't expect much because I didn't know anything about the brand, but it came. Uh, they said they had solid state batteries, aluminum case, and really a handsome design. Check this out. You know, everything is just kind of sleek, protected, but it doesn't have these flaps or covers that are just sticking out of the way. So really cool. So $1,400 for this guy, and it is 2,000 watt hours, 2,008, with 2,400 watts of power. But what I'm gonna show you guys is the really fascinating feature that it has, which is alternator charging. So for an option 1470, I believe you get the F1000 alternator charger. And I just installed it uh, and it's out here so I can show you and it is crazy. Okay, so let me show you how it works. So this is the input. The solar input takes up to a thousand watts and it also is the input for the alternator charger. All right, so follow this line and this goes to the F1000 right here. Uh, E-Taker F1000. And because I took the spot of the solar charger, they said, oh, we'll give you a spot too. So this is the solar panel and you can see over there, uh, solar panel is, is integrated into the F1000. And it's charging 76 watts, which is the solar panel. So that's good, but let's see the alternator work. I'm gonna start the car. So right there, now it's charging at a rate of 500 watts, 500 watts. And how did it know that the car started? This is the mind blowing thing. You know what it did? Because there's no connection, right? Just positive and negative. You can't, you can't detect current. What it, what it has is a vibration sensor. So it's in here. So when your car vibrates, it says, oh, the car must be running. Because so that's an engine that's making it vibrate. So that's the smart of this technology. So this thing was always on, but it's not draining your battery unless it's vibrating or the car is running. So here you can select whether you want to charge it at 300, 400, and 500 watts. You know, why not? 500 watts all the time. The EcoFlow charger, it charges at 800 watts. So that means unless your, battery, your alternator, your car is really small, uh, you should be able to charge at 500 watts. And 500 watts means four hours or something like this. So. I hope you are as jazzed as I am because, uh, you know, 1470, you have an alternator charger that will work with pretty much any uh, any solar station out there. But man, it works really good with the the e-taker right here. So come with me later to uh, the lab, then I'm going to show you all the capacities, the, the outlets of this thing and some uh, stress testing. But to give you a sneak peek, I ran my AC and it had a na 95% efficiency uh, on uh, on AC, meaning it got like 1,900 watts, watt hours of power out of the 2,000 watt capacity. Crazy. All right, thank you. Okay, before we wrap this thing up, let me show you some detail of this machine. Very sleek, nice screen, and very flush with the covers. And here is the input, and there's a, a light, a very bright light in the back but all the outlets are in front, which is very convenient for more applications. And here's the testing, 593 watt hours with 69% left, and it ended with 764 watt hours with 1% left. And that translates to an 88% efficiency, which is incredible.